We're concluding the First Blood review for the first film with First Blood 2, Rambo. This movie came out on May 22nd, 1985, which just happens to be my wife's date of birth. And it has an hour and 36 minute runtime. It was directed by George Cosmatos. I have seen a ton of his movies. I didn't realize he had directed Tombstone, which is an awesome movie. I did know that he had directed the movie that I watched in the last six months, Cobra, which I will put a link to that review in the description. So this movie, the first film, was directed by Ted Kochkeff, and then Cosmatos was brought on to direct this movie, and James Cameron was one of the screenplayer screenplay, screenplay co-writers. He was co-writing this screenplay at the same time that he was writing the Terminator screenplay and the Alien screenplay. He somehow managed to squeeze this one into here. Although Stallone has like overall control and rewrote a bunch of what Cameron wrote. The same thing with Cobra. Stallone had a huge hand in how that played out. So I'm comparing these two films. I think the original is a masterpiece, five out of five. This one is considered like one of the top 23 action films of all time. It was not well received by critics. This movie had a $25 million budget, but fans disagreed with the critics and it grossed 300 plus million worldwide at the box office and over 170 million in the US alone at the time. I am three out of five on this movie. It was enjoyable, but it wasn't like my favorite movie that I've ever seen. Rotten Tomatoes critics were 33%, IMDb 6.5 out of 10. However, Google users, a lot of people really enjoy this movie. It's 87%. So, and it was a fun movie, but it just wasn't, it, to me, it wasn't as good as this. I feel like this could have been a standalone movie and then they were just kind of like continuing the saga with all these other films. That's not to say that it's a bad movie, but I just appreciate the first one more. I did like it was more politicized where he was talking about the evils of the Vietnam War, how they weren't set out to win a war. It was all political. And even Rambo wanting to go on this mission, they basically say, we'll let you free from prison from all the crap that you did in part one if you go on this special ops mission to see if there's still POWs 10 years after the war ended trapped in Vietnam, which is the communist country. The studio, interestingly enough, wanted him to co-star. They wanted him to have a co-conspirator of rescuing all these POWs, and they wanted to cast John Travolta. Stallone said no. He ended up just being the one-man army that he always is. And that's kind of the whole premise of the film. Interestingly enough, it was much more violent than the first film, and... There was lots of explosions, lots of artillery. One of the special effects crew was killed during filming. He fell on these waterfalls, lost his footing, and fell to his death. Sad. Uh, what else do I want to add about this? Same soundtrack as the first film. Loved it. Jerry Goldsmith. Um, it's just a fun movie, but I wouldn't say it was my favorite movie, like I said. I'm interested to review part three and see how that compares. Um... That's pretty much all I have to say. My kids came in, my two older boys came in and watched the last 10 or 15 minutes with me. And I do, I do like the fact that he is out to seek justice and peace, even though he is killing the bad guys, quote unquote. He, he has this, the Stallone character, Rambo, has this final message that he just wants to have the, the love and admiration of the people of the US, like, you know, a lot of other veterans, maybe from World War II per se. Because, you know, a lot the Vietnam vets were looked down upon. And that's just kind of the same theme that he said in the first movie. And he wants to bring home all these guys that got left behind. So even though he is a one-man army and goes out and has to kill, he's also a loving guy. Very complicated character, if you ask me. But I like that they give him this humanity. And 
he is out there to do good and set things free and earn respect and admiration that these Vietnam guys, it's another political commentary. This movie is a, another continued political commentary on the Vietnam War in which 56,000 US Americans lost their lives. So that's all that I have to say about this film. Until next time, we will see you then.